Griffin? I think it is. Right, I shall now pass you on to our correspondent on my left. It's me! <laughs> Introduce this, this then. This is episode 26 or something. Hello, 26 episodes and it's Counting. us. Yes. And we're going to Glasgow for the Oscars and we're going to win the best dressed pod award <laughs> for being the best pod, really. Yes. It's anyway, podding might, unbelievable. You might want to do this again. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Right. Come on, we have to get take, there, man. Take to you hold no, that. Just... Man, what we're doing. Viewers, hello. Uh, this is me, and we're off to Glasgow for the Scottish Outdoor and Leisure Awards 2018. And Boris, the military pod, has been entered. Goodness knows how and how many people have voted for him and everything. But uh, he's down to the final ten in the best glamping category. Uh, so we thought we'd come and have a night out at the Oscars. We're calling it the Oscars. <laughs> I've been polishing me tiara. Sam's been pressing his DJ. Let's hope we can squeeze into it. And um, we've got new shoes and everything. So it's just ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, anyway that's what we're doing it's lovely more later Bye. yes it's all very exciting see how we get on later in the video meanwhile we're off on another sky jeep tours jolly to one of our favorite places oops that's going to bounce around too much morning viewers how are you we're off to rassi today we're going to go see the new distillery we love the isle of rassi not only is it a very beautiful island but a visit there means a ride on a very special car ferry the mv halleg her design was something of an experiment, a hybrid propulsion system using both diesel engines and lithium-ion powered electric motors. This makes for a very smooth crossing and the pleasantly smug feeling of knowing that thanks to nice low carbon emissions, you're not killing the planet quite as quickly as other ferries might be. Rassi is roughly the same size as Manhattan Island, but with slightly fewer people living on it, obviously. About 170 at the last count. As well as Sky Jeep tours, other regular visitors include Her Majesty the Queen. Hello. I'm the Queen! Whose royal yacht Britannia used to drop anchor between Portree and Rassi. The royals would take a tender out to a beautiful secluded beach on the Rassi shore and spend the day, well, being royal. Anyway, within 30 minutes we're on Rassi and off for a jeep tour with our friends Sarah and Mark. One of the most important things for the visitor to do on Rassi is to drive Callum's Road. Back in the 1960s, the council refused to upgrade the footpath that connected Arnish to Brochel, so one of the last remaining Arnish residents, a Mr Callum MacLeod, took matters into his own hands and built the road himself, single-handedly. It took him ten years and an unimaginable number of wheelbarrows, picks and shovels. Read the book. It's a cracker. Callum MacLeod. What a guy. Another must-do on Rassi is a tour of the new distillery. It opened in 2017 and it's the only distillery on the island. Well, the only legal one anyway. It's so new that they can't sell the stuff yet. Whiskey has to be kept in a barrel for three years and a day before it can be sold as whiskey. So to alleviate the impatient frustration amongst whiskey connoisseurs, the company have been making a whiskey off-site which they say is going to be very close to the real thing. This brew has been affectionately named While We Wait and by all accounts it's really rather lovely. Is that working? Hello, viewers? Uh, it... Yes, red light. Yes, good. And action. Morning, viewers. Uh, look at the weather. Not a day to be outside, really. However, we're off on a pig keeping course. That's oink, oink, oink. I know. Uh, we're going to learn all about piggies and how to keep them, how to look after them, how to feed them, and then how to bop them on the head and turn them into sausages. So watch this space. Off we go. <laughs> So what have pigs got to do with Sky Jeep tours? Well, not much, but if you come and stay in Boris, we'll introduce you to the livestock before they become bacon sandwiches. Here we are at Orbost Farm in the northwest of Sky to learn how it's all done. Now I can't stand here and tell you what price you're going to put on your products, that's up to you. This is no ordinary farm, oh no. Orbost produces the very best quality meat, slowly reared and free range from very happy animals. At last, it's time to meet some piggies. Put you off your bacon sandwiches. Their meat finds its way into the Michelin-starred kitchens of Sky's very finest hotels and restaurants. We on Sky are so lucky to have such amazing produce right here on our doorstep.
Meanwhile, back at the award ceremony in Glasgow, somehow I miraculously squeeze into my dinner jacket, something I've not worn for the best part of five years, and something I've not missed, truth be told. And Lynn scrubs up well in her sparkly stuff too. We're good to go. As musicians, Lynn and I have provided entertainment for these kind of do's before. We've done Park Lane, Grosvenor House, The Ritz, The Savoy, and many more, but now we're actually at an award ceremony as punters. It really feels weird. I feel I should be tuning my snare drum or eating a platter of dried up sandwiches in the band room. I have to say the compare was brilliant. To get the crowd in the mood, as it were, we all played a game of play your cards right. And what do you know, I wind up in the final. Ah well, runner-up ain't bad, perhaps we'll have more luck later on. We, have the gold envelope now. we shared our table with a great bunch of nominees, all of whom were winning awards left, right and centre. Now, I should point out that the judges had a really hard time picking the winners. It was such an impossible job that in some categories they had to have a runner-up prize too. Ours is such a category. Right, fingers crossed everyone. Well, we started running Sky Jeep tours uh, about five years ago, and we thought of putting a pod in, and we looked at all the various wigwam type pods, and uh, we decided to just do something different, and uh, I guess that paid off. Absolutely brilliant. I love what you do, guys. You're absolutely fantastic. Here, runners up, let's hear it for Boris and Military Pod! Well, 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 what a mahoosive surprise that was. Time for our photo shoot now with Hello Magazine. So, runner-up in Play Your Cards Right, runner-up in Best Glamping Pod. Well, there was one more surprise in store for Lynn. Yes, I was going to actually dance the Gay Gordons. Well, try to anyway. We are winners, you know. <laughs> After the show, well, darling wifey, what do you reckon? Runner up. I don't care, you danced the gay Gordons with me, that's all I that did. matters. I did. It was a disaster. It was a disaster. Broken and legs. We were, this is fourth floor, this is us. And the dish. Shh, shh. There'll be people trying to go to sleep. So we'll walk as loudly as possible. Dashing white sergeants. Yes, dashing white sergeants.